All right, so this ain't got nothing to do with nothing, but y'all know that part in the color purple when um, Miss Seeley and Miss Sophie and all them done grown up, and it's at that part where um, uh, that boy, what that boy name? Uh, Hoppo. Hoppo done made his little juke joint, and then there's that little scene where um, uh, you got Sugar Avery in there, and then Miss Seeley, and then Mister, and then uh, Sophie done gone in there, and this is like after she done got herself a new man, and then she run into Hoppo and Mister, and uh, at the table, and Mister go up to her and say, "Well, you cheering?" And uh, she responds and says, "They at home, where yearn." That has absolutely nothing to do with the rest of what's going to happen in this video. Lord help those ambulance drivers. Um, they ain't got nothing to do with none of the rest of what I'm talking about in this video. I just love how country that sounds. I just, I've been saying that in my head for like the past day. Like, they at home, where yearn? And I don't even know nobody say yearn. I, I, maybe I know some folk that say your, y y not yearn, uh, y'all's. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, uh, yearn, yearn, yearn. I think I know some people say yearn, where's yearn, or something like that, but like not, what did you say, where yearn. I don't think I ever know nobody said that. Anyway, that ain't got nothing to do with the rest of this video. I just, I'm just in love with how country that sounds. So I'm flicking through uh, Instagram, right, which ain't good for me. The internet's not good for me. I should cancel all my all my online presence and just delete everything because bruv <coughs> um i was going through and i see this video of this i think this protestant ministry up in um in sendai and um this young young sister was going around talking about how she i think ran across these uh women of the night one of them said like a couple you know, I think about less than a hundred, hundred dollars for like thirty minutes or something. And girl, girl said the Lord spoke to her. She ran up in there and just just preached to her. And that reminds me of ah, uh, y'all remind me because y'all know how to read nothing. That saint that did there's a saint. Uh, father told me about once that that did that. He he went up, and uh man, I forget his name. Lord help me. He he um went up. And gave money to this prostitute. Took up. Went up to the room. Gave her the money. And just said don't do this no more. So that reminded me of that. And I sit down and I look at. And I'm thinking. Y'all gonna disagree with me. But I did seriously think. I'm like I can't. I can't do that. I can't do that. I'm. I, it, it, I'm too hypocritical. Now, I could do that. I'm not gonna lie. I could do that. Like go up give a sister some money, just chill with her and talk with her, because I could do that, That is, I could do that, but I can't do that, you know what I'm saying, like, why can't you do that, Justin Nikolai, Google history, bruv, but then, at the same time, I'm also thinking, is it possible, and this is a question for y'all, because I'm not going to research none of this, I just, I throw out stuff to y'all, y'all are like the, the orthodox hive mind um uh huh, borg um are they making a new star trek show are they making a new star trek show or are they making a new star trek show please be picard season three i don't care what y'all say no no season four season four season four please make picard season four because picard season three was cool and then at the very end spoiler alert when you had q come back uh, bruv anyway um Y'all are my Orthodox Borg. So, um, yeah. Uh, it's, maybe this is a holdover of, of me being Protestant and everything. And that whole thing of the culture of it, of, of where, like, if you, you fall down, that your shame and everything that keeps you from, from going to God, it's like, I had a thing last night, which didn't work today, which didn't work today, but it kind of worked last night where I was doing some stuff I shouldn't have done. And I was going to do it again. I was going to do it again. And because I felt that pull to do it again because I was all alone, right? Um, and I prayed. I was like, Lord, just don't let me do it right now. I did it before. Don't let me do it right now. 
Is there something is there something orthodox in what I just said? Y'all let me know. And today I'm even more alone because my missus is traveling. And that didn't that strategy didn't didn't work today. But I'm thinking, the old me, pre pre coming to Christ, pre pre orthodox, would be like, you sick bastard, you, you, you sinful, God hates you, blah, 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 blah. Just Screw it! You already fell down. Just, just open up another tab. You feel, you feel what I'm saying? But post orthodox, what I'm trying to get because I'm not there yet. But the beauty of, of being in the church is that, that that you hear it. You hear it as as it's as it's it's um. I'm gonna make sure my phone ain't about to die. On it's um it's a possibility through through the church. You, you could you could just get up and just keep going. You know. Again, let me know if, if I'm saying this correctly, because y'all in the hive mind, y'all y'all know more than me. But it appears it could be like well, you could just get up, get up and keep going, like that, just like that, just like that. You yeah, know, just get up and keep going. But God hates me. No, no, shh, shh, shh. no, just just get up, and keep going. But I fell. Yeah, but yeah, get up and keep going. Right? Is it that simple? Is it that simple? Because in my head, it, it it's not that simple. In my head, it's like, no, you sinned. You gotta you gotta hate yourself for a little bit, and then you gotta, and then you can keep going. Because I remember back in the states, I've told you this before. I'm talking really fast because my phone's like three percent. Um, well, I felt bad because again, the whole porn thing. Um, and it's like, yeah, I'm not going to church because I feel too shameful. And I told Father that in the states, he's like, bro, what the hell is you doing? Nah, bro, that's no, that's. That's when you come to church. You feel me? That's when you come here. Is when you when you feel it that. That's when you come and get that support. So I'm thinking maybe I need to rethink. Cause I know that there's a there's a good place to have that guilt and shame. But I think my personality specifically, and also possibly elements of, of our Western culture, I guess. I don't know, hive mind, y'all, y'all chime in. That there's that shame and guilt without that underlining. Like, all right, let's let's just get up and keep going, right? Does, does this sound right to y'all? Because that's that's what I'm feeling. And <clears throat> I've I think I've I've lost touch with that hope part of you know. Okay, yeah, I don't want to do this sin. I want I don't want to you know do this. I don't want to keep repeating this pattern of 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 you know all the stuff. But it's like, why though? That that's the part I'm losing losing touch with is that why, you know, even if you if you say well it's because of Christ, but but if I think if there's not that love that hope there, you know what I'm saying? It's just you know we need that hope, we need that hope, we need that that love and hope, which 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 I lose touch of, I lose contact with it, I lose you know I I, I lose hold of it, uh, you know, quite often, but. We get up and keep going. I don't know. Y'all let me know what's up. Love y'all. Um, tell me if y'all like my um, water heater radiator looking forehead. Because golly, I look like a... Oh, uh, Brandon. Speaking of a Star Trek, I look like a Discovery Era Klingon. Because... <coughs> You know, I don't have the ridges here in the center. Man, Discovery messed up the Klingons, like, for real. I'm offended. <coughs> anyway, and like Spore Drive, bruh? Come on, son. That's just not realistic. <coughs> realistic. Anyway. <coughs> oh, Lord. It may not sound like it, but I'm a lot better now than I was like a week ago. Thanks be to God. I'm getting over this cough. It's still there, but it's like a lot drier. I think that's, that's in a positive way. You know, it's a lot drier and a lot less heavy and, uh, you know, intense as well. So I sound terrible on here, but <coughs> I'm actually getting better. So thanks for being for that. Anyway, y'all let me know what's up because <coughs> I think we just lose too much sight of hope. Stay prayerful. Stay hopeful. I love y'all. Bye.